Hello and welcome. This is Jit Dolaki and you are watching its tomorrow news. Two killed as cyclone Nisarga hits Maharashtra. India's financial capital Mumbai has largely escaped a cyclone that barreled through the country's western coast despite early forecasts indicating possible destructions in the dense city of 18 million. Cyclone Nisarga was initially forecast to be the first storm of its kind to batter Mumbai since 1948, prompting citizens to stay off the streets and secure their homes against gale force winds and torrential rains. Fears were compounded by the cyclone's potential to wreak havoc on a city already hard hit by the coronavirus pandemic. The cyclone barreled into the western coast about 100 km south of Mumbai with winds gusting up to 120 km per hour, the Indian Meteorological Department said. After landfall near Alibagh, the cyclone headed in a northeasterly direction it headed. Two people, a 58 years old man and a 10 year old boy were killed after an electric pole and a tree collapsed on them in Raigad district, state disaster management chief said. 14 people were injured in similar incident in Ratnagiri and the Sindhudur district, also of the cost he added. No deaths or major damages were reported in Mumbai by late Wednesday, although high winds whipped skyscrapers and ripped apart shanties near the beach. About 10,000 city residents were evacuated before the storm and another 1 lakh people were moved from low-lying areas in Maharashtra and neighboring Gujarat state, officials said. With powerful storms rarely coming from the Arabian Sea, there were no pre-existing cyclone shelters in Mumbai and many of the city's large and sturdy buildings had already been converted into coronavirus isolation or treatment facilities, National Disaster Response Force spokesman said. The cyclone moved away from the city across Maharashtra state with its wind speed slowing to 85 km per hour on Wednesday night. Nisarga comes just two weeks after cyclone Amphan tore through the Bay of Bengal on India's east coast and battered West Bengal state, killing more than 100 people in India and neighboring Bangladesh. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news, Jit Dolakia. For more weather updates like this, do like, share and subscribe to our channel.